everyone, it's Sue Hank. Today I'm going to show you how I make my camarones a la diabla or diablo shrimp. This is one of my favorite dishes. It's incredibly delicious, um, but I warn you, it's incredibly spicy, so you will have fire in your mouth. Um, but of course, tons of flavor. Super good. I'll be listing all of the ingredients as usual down below. And we're going to start off by grilling our tomato, onions, and chile de arbol. I've been grilling these for about five minutes now, so I'm going to add my garlic and my whole clove. And I'm going to let this grill for an additional four to five minutes. About 10 minutes total, this is what it's going to look like, so we're going to top this off by boiling it. I'm adding 2 cups of water, I'm going to bring this to a boil, so I'm going to crank the heat up. Once my water starts to boil, I will lower the heat a bit and let it boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. I've already peeled, deveined, and washed my shrimp. I'm going to cook those now. Coat my pan with olive oil. Shrimp cooks really fast, literally two to three minutes on each side. Um, the way you know when shrimp is cooked, it turns into a pink color and it's no longer translucent. And season them with a little bit of garlic salt, black pepper, and paprika. Now I'm a huge fan of really spicy food. If you like spicy food but don't like to feel that fire or heat in your mouth, um, then just adjust this recipe meaning add a little bit of less chili and of course, or peppers and add a little bit more tomato. So it's more of a tomato based sauce rather than a pepper based sauce. Okay, so this is my shrimp fully cooked, set it aside. We're gonna start with our sauce. I'm adding our chipotle peppers and adobo sauce into my food processor. Again, if you want it less spicy, then obviously, take out a pepper or two um, and do less chile de árbol. <clears throat> Excuse me. Blend all of this together. Now we'll add in our garlic, our whole clove, some onion, basically all the ingredients that we just grilled. We're gonna process this all together. And this is gonna make our delicious sauce. I'm adding just a little bit of that water that I used from the boil and to make this less of a thicker sauce. I'm going to add some additional slices of onion into our sauce and we're going to strain our sauce onto our pan, stirring constantly. A 
It smells so good. My mouth is getting watery just by watching this again. <laughs> And now we can add our shrimp. After about 10 minutes of simmering our sauce, make sure we coat our shrimp into our sauce or with our sauce. And that is it. I served mine with rice. Again, this dish is one of my favorites. If you haven't tried any of the other dishes and you like spicy food, this is a must. Please let me know how it turns out. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.